That's 10 past 8 in the morning and I did not get a good night's sleep at all. I don't know what happened. I think I've got food poisoning. I think that's the, the long story short. Went out yesterday, spent the afternoon watching the football with me mate. Got a very large fish and chips, went down beautifully. I wasn't even hungry after that. Didn't eat dinner. And then last night, chilling out, playing a bit of FIFA. The missus is away by the way. She's um been taken to Norfolk, I think it is, for a little birthday weekend with her friends. So I was all alone last night. Started getting all these shivers. I was freezing cold, but I was boiling hot at the same time. I was sweating, but shivering. That wasn't good. And then at 1am, I was desperately in need of the toilet. So I went out, sat on the loo, and it was not pretty, I'm telling you. But the problem was, it was coming out of this end as well. So that's the first time that's ever happened to me. And that's quite scary. I wasn't in control of anything. I was home alone as well, puking up. Pooing out the other end. I mean, you guys don't need to know too much detail, but it was so bad. And I was doing that from 1am to 4am. And I just feel so, like, oh. I just feel like today's going to be a bad day. And that was the start of it. Today we have Thames Gateway for the third time this season. Already played him in the league. Then we had him in the cup final. And then we've got him in the league again. So we won't be seeing them for the rest of the season. Three times in quick succession. And they're going to really want to beat us today. Because obviously we've beaten them twice. And I think they'll be up for it. And I just, I've just got this really bad feeling it's going to be a bad day. Because not only that, Spurs and Arsenal are kicking off at 12. I mean, who, why would you kick off bang on midday? We're not going to finish our game until about half 12. So we're going to miss most of that. Well, most of the first half, that is. And I'm not feeling too confident in that game either. So food poisoning, puking, pooing, losing, and then losing again. I don't think it's going to be a great day. Anyway, Jack's been on a night shift and he doesn't work too far away from here. So he's going to make his way straight here. He'll be here in about 20, 30 minutes. So I should start getting ready. Before we get ready though, always got to make sure the kit is there. Camera, lens, spare camera, uh, GoPro in there for Mini 2, good if he's there. Spare batteries and cards, sorted. Jack's actually been and gone, he's just downstairs having a fag. A lot of people pointed out last week that we say fag and not cigarette. I don't know why we say it, but yeah, you're going to have a fag. Um, plenty of layers today, I've got t-shirt, tracksuit, jacket, I've got a jumper over the top, then I'm going to have a coat because it is going to be nippy. Good morning. Right, we're off to Mackie D's. Lovely Smith. I'm not having anything. Not having anything. He's been um, weeing out his bum this morning and being sick in his sink. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. It's a bit nippy. The sun is out. Thames Gateway. I think they owe us a spanking, but hopefully we'll do them. And here we are again. So the only order we've had is Scottish. He wants a double sausage. No cheese. No cheese, plain Jane. Um, other than that, Nick wants a taxi. Uh, what do you want, Jeff? Breakfast wrap meal, please. Could I get a breakfast wrap meal as well, please? So is, is Tommy Tom Tom back today? I don't know. I don't know where he's been. Good player, Tommy Tom Tom. What you people might not know is me and Tommy Tom Tom played for the same team last year and we won the Premier League. Ooh. There you go. How's your bum, Smith? Squeaky. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Cheers. Right, Smith, who is your favourite Palmer's FC player and why? Kieran, because he's ginger. <laughs> Smith just farted and it was a very, very tense moment, but um, I think he's uh, managed to hold it in this time. Right, we are here, William Edwards School. I actually came here for a year. Did you really? Yeah. Oh yeah, shout out to Lee Farrow, you fat milk. <laughs> and here we are. I'm gonna shove a camera in someone's face. Frank. All right. How you doing? I'm all right, here. Yeah. You're on a, I, I think I got you in the video. Quite a few times last week. Yeah, How was my performance? Same thing extra was alright as well, mate. Just like one line, one comment. <laughs> well, you're getting more than one line right now, mate. Just check out the facilities. I'm tempted to sit on that, but I don't want it to start something. Are we early or is everyone late? Hang on two seconds. Tomo's moaning because I didn't get him at McDonald's. Yeah, you did. Um, Tomo? Thanks, mate. Tom, I'm sorry. Do you want to nick Scottish? <laughs> oh no, come on, Scottish needs the energy. He's running oh, I ain't got no cheese in it, there's no point. <laughs> Tom, I have the ash brown, yeah? And we'll just say, oh, it looks like they didn't put ash brown in it. So for Scottish, it is just his sausage, no. little muffin, no cheese. Tom has gone and treated himself. He's got some brand new shin pads. Oh no, Scottish is here. We've got to tell him about his ash brown. He might have new shin pads, but he needs new socks. So basically, we, um, I forgot Tomo's order, so I made him nick your hash brown. But it's lucky that you don't like hash brown, so happy days. No, is there no cheese in it? What's um, this? People have been asking about the Everton thing. Yeah, uh, I don't support Everton, unfortunately, but I do have a soft spot for the top is. Um, Neville Southall, did you like? They're the same size as Neville Southall. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Tommy Tom Tommy's here. Uh, you alright? I'm going to give this to you soon and get some predictions. Uh, yeah. I don't really want to tell everyone who I support because I get enough hate as it is. <laughs> what, Millwall? 
Alliance. That used to be my history class. Clearly an outstanding school. What we see here is a real energy from the head teacher downwards to be outstanding. Okay, cool. It hasn't actually changed in what? How many years are we talking? Yeah, I won't, I won't mention. Stop! Score predictions. Tom Tom. This game, obviously. Uh, 3 0. Score prediction. 4 0. Uh, score prediction. 3 0. 3 2. 2 0 Palms. Thank you very much, boys. In a nutshell, describe today's conditions. Cold. Cold. Very cold. Right, shall I have a score prediction. That's all we need today. Score prediction. I'm going to say 4 0 to Thames Gateway. Ooh. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> That's why the fans I'm, hate him. I'm going to say 2 0 Palmers. Wayne's doppelganger. What's the uh, score going to be today? Oh, uh, we'll give you a game or we'll win 2-1. 2-1? Yeah. Well, you're ambitious, is it? Yeah. Uh, I'm hearing you've got a flat 11 today and that's it'll turn up. What's going on? Yeah, uh, injuries, um, ill people. Life. The little winger we've got, Rob, he's done his ligaments in the back of his knee. Oh, yeah, no Last week, that. so. Alright. Injuries, really. But you're going to give us a game still? Yeah, we'll still give you a game. That's good news. Won't give us a game. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here, we're all set up. I'm told that the ref's running late, so a bit more waiting around. So why don't we wait? Let's have a little chat with the guys. Did you play Saturday? Uh, I can't handle it, mate, so I've told him I can't help him out anymore. So you'd be fresh for today? I'm 100% yeah? palm score. Good man, good man. What have we got here? Wasn't here last week. Uh, but he's here now. This week. It's Andrew. Oh, yes. You don't do it online, do you? You don't I go don't, on it? Yeah, no, I do. I'll just... I'll do it if it's a PlayStation 4. Oh, okay. So we did a throwback Thursday the other day, which was like, you look back at what's happened over the years, and mm -hmm. we did we put a goal of yours up. Yeah, St. Clair's yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good goal. I like that. One of my favourite goals of all time. And you scored it. Thanks. So you've been tweeting. Yeah. You've been tweeting. Yeah. I mean, yeah, been tweeting. yeah well, Anyone who follows Wazza would know that. I'll let you say it. I'm back. Yeah. But before he's back, <laughs> he's going to have to do a forfeit before he even sticks an orange shirt on. Right. So yeah. this is. Well, that's on. Yeah, a bit early, mate. <laughs> What's going to happen is I'm going to ask these guys, and I'm actually going to ask you guys in the comments below if you can think of some forfeits for Wazza. He has to do that before he actually plays. Shave the beard. No, if you would have told me, I wouldn't have come to die. Shave the beard is one of them. That's no, no, favorite. that ain't happening. Before Wazza plays for Palmer's again, he's got to do a forfeit. What do you think? Oh! Come back to me. He should be filmed having his beard shaved off whilst wearing a Tottenham shirt. I like that. I don't know. Right. <laughs> he's bad. I know his beard. Is his main thing, but he won't do anything with that. But he's also a proper tight as well. So financially, I think something would be good. I don't know what, but something financially because he hates spending money. He's probably the tightest person I know. I don't know what though. Obviously, I'll come what. back to you. No, I don't know. You, you can have a think about that. Or they no, no, this is your suggestion. Yeah, right. Come back to me. Has he got a missus? He has. No, I'll leave that out. Of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's arse waxed. Bum wax to be, be a good and back sack and crack. Something Spurs related because he's gooner. He's got to wear a Spurs shirt and shave his beard off. The old legendary beard. Okay. Either that or he's got a piss on an Arsenal shirt. Okay, yeah, it's a good one. Let's see how this one goes. I suggest just don't sign him. <laughs> so just don't that even. Be his punishment. His fourth is sadly he has to watch for the next seven years of his life. Seven years before he can play again. Are you done yet? Come on. Yeah, alright. We do a lot of work for St. Luke's Hospice because I know his sister. Maybe a big donation to them. Run around this field naked right now. Just add word that the ref has finally shown up. So, uh, a couple more minutes and we'll be kicking off. Also, four at the back. He's Goodwin's right back. Rich Hunt left back. Graham and Tomo in the middle. Uh, two sitting in front of them will be Kev and Tommy. Kid just in front of them. Noel's on the left. Connor on the right, me up top. Look at these numbers. What's he wearing on his... Have you? These are my, my protein shorts. They're that comfortable, I'm keeping them. Decent. Match, match play. Turn around. Yeah, the wet patch is from my boots that were in my Right, bag. okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah, all right, mate, all right, mate. Working, all right, cool, yep, yeah, cool. We've got Aaron. Aaron, welcome to Palmer's FC. Oh, this so isn't cool. our home ground, actually. It's the away one, but um, what's made you come down? Well, I've been, a, uh, been watching Palmer's FC from the first video, really, and the boys have been you know, quite a big fan of the boys and what you do as well. Thought we'd come down, we're only half hour down the road. Thought we'd come down and have a little, have a little look. And uh, yeah, see what you made of times. And you, you play football yourself or you manage? Yes. Well, I used to play. I'm now managing the one football league for East Grinstead Town. That's like semi-pro boys. This boy, he knows. He knows people. We might, we might. If we were, if Palmers were to sort of go into a semi-professional league, what players would you say could potentially make that step? Well, with myself and my mate who are, who's here, he does, he? doesn't want to be on the video. He's on it now. He's uh, we're massive fans of Too Good. Oh, but no, it's uh, no, we uh, 
probably from what we've seen so far, definitely Nulzy. Yep. Left peg, magician. Um, Black Kieran, his aerial ability. And Tomo, just for his pure fighting in midfield. <laughs> Tomo is my personal favourite. Yeah. A little soft spot for Tomo. What are you doing, Tomo? Stretching, mate. Right? Stretching out, yeah. How you doing, Sam? Yeah, I'm alright, mate. Are you confident ahead of today's North London derby? I'm always confident. That doesn't lead to always a win. No, of course not. I'm always confident. And because we're so late, we're going to miss it. I'm not, because I'm not playing. So, so I'm you get to go. I'm off home when I feel, well, when the mood takes me, really. Oh, mate. Well, lucky you, because I'd rather be watching that. So they said the ref was here, but the ref isn't here, so it's just still waiting. It's quarter to 11. I'm cold. I'm tired. Cold. I don't want to go home. Luke's similar to Jamie. doesn't like the camera, unfortunately. It's not the camera, it's you. Oh, it's me. You don't like me? Oh, cheers, pal. Now his shirt. You've been playing with a cat. Five to eleven. Now. Tomo, explain the situation. Oh, if they won't ref, and the ref ain't here, and no one can find a ref, and they won't play without a ref. Ago, was it? I'm gonna go and watch Arsenal in an hour, and you can't play ninety minutes in an hour. Update. Still waiting for the ref. It's gone eleven o'clock now. We've been standing here for ages. It's still really cold. <laughs> the ref is here, and by no means in any sort of hurry. Just taking his time. We're going, we're going, we're going. I've been round, I've spoke to the boys. Yep. A few forfeits on show. Okay. We can only pick one, obviously, right. but what we're going to do, we're going to put the viewers' uh, suggestions out there as well in the comments section below. So they're going to have a choice. Right. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to put a vote out on Twitter. How long is this going to take? Well, well, will it be available for next week so I can play? Yeah, yeah, we'll do like a maybe a three day vote, and at the end of it, that's the forfeit you have to do. We've had suggestions like back sack and crack. We've had suggestions of shaving the beard. We've had suggestions of wearing a Tottenham shirt. Oh! <laughs> All right, back so I can crack it, is it? <laughs> so just to confirm, leave your suggestions in the comments below. What was I should do before we can play for Palmers again? Be nice. You like me, don't you? The game's about to kick off. This is where we say goodbye. Welcome back to Sunday League Football, where today is all about our bounce back ability. I haven't heard that word for a while, but thanks, Soccer AM. Last week's first half performance was one of the worst we've seen in a long time, and we were punished for it. So that was last week. This is this week, and we are back in the league against a team called Chadwell.